Now let's talk about the duplicating apps on the iPhone. First of all, there is a difference between duplicating an app to have two different instances and duplicating the same app. The same icon multiple times for better organization of your home screen on the iPhone. So let's get started with this video right now. Okay, now let's say that you'd wanna have two different accounts or two instances of the very same app on your iPhone. You'd wanna have one Snapchat icon with one account and the other one with a different account logged in. Well, this is impossible natively. For this, you'll need to sideload these apps from third-party sites like Tweakbox. And Apple isn't really a fan of this. Generally speaking, it's not something you should do. The reason for it is that every app on your iPhone is identified by a unique bundle identifier which is used to distinguish it from other apps installed on your device. This bundle identifier is unique. When you download an app from the App Store, iOS checks the bundle identifier of the app to see if it's already installed on your device. If the bundle identifier matches an existing app, iOS will not allow you to install another instance of the app. Instead, iOS will simply launch the existing instance of the app. Sometimes the developers will come out with a different version of the app that already has the different bundle identifier and that's considered to be another application. Okay, but to get the actual duplicate icons of the very same app on your home screen, you'll need to scroll over to the app library. It's the very last page. When you are on the home screen, it's all the way on the right. Um, by the way, if you don't have the latest version of iOS installed, you should do so, of course, but the required version for this is iOS 15, so I think most of us should be okay with it. Anyways, just scroll all the way there, completely to the right, and the process is simple. You just grab one one, if the app icons, and drag it somewhere to your home screen. Now you come back once again, and what you do is that you again grab the very same icon and drag it back next to the one you put there before, so it's really simple. You can keep on going like this until you're happy with the result. The most likely reason why you're doing this is because it's better to have the icon on multiple different home screen pages. As you know, in different focus modes, you can pick which home screen page will be visible and therefore also the icons there should be customized accordingly. And if not, then you probably want to have an entire page of the same app just for fun. Now when it comes to deleting it, it couldn't have been simpler. You literally just hold down on one of the icons, you wait for it to start wiggle like this. Then all you have to do is to click on the X icon that shows up next to it. It'll ask you whether or not you want to delete the app entirely, or if you just want to remove it from the home screen. So that's what we want to do. So just remove it from the home screen and repeat the same thing for all the icons until you're happy with what you have. That concludes the video, and I hope it provided useful insights to you. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to the Foxtech YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye. And